If you're new to my channel, you may not know that last year I did a review for a knife that I bought. This was the Gerber Strong Arm. This is a knife that I use uh, to carry in the woods all the time. I'll link that review of this knife uh, up above. I'm going to refer to this knife a little bit in this video as well. But what I want to talk about is the M9 bayonet. This was this one was made by Lanke. It is probably at about 25 years old. I think is when I got, when I got this bayonet. Um, it is quite a bit heavier than the Gerber. It, a noticeable difference. This bayonet weighs almost two pounds, and then you add the scabbard in there. It's probably two and a half pounds, something like that. So it's got some weight to it, um, but it feels durable and it is rugged, which you're going to see in a minute. This is the still the official issue of the military. I think they're looking to upgrade it to a different one now, but this was military issue bayonet. Its uh, system on the back of the scabbard is a clip to, to go over top of a war belt, or it also will work with molly closures as well. And then on the scabbard, you've got a quick release buckle. So if the if the scabbard's hanging off your belt, you can pop that quick release buckle, it comes apart, and you can take the knife off and leave the attachment system on your belt. My knife also has a little pouch on the front for a um, honing stone. I know that some of the other versions of this M9 made by other companies have a sharpening stone on the back of the sheath, but mine does not have that. So I'm gonna take the knife out and let's take a look at it. Well, first of all, the knife overall is about 12 inches long in the end. It's got a polymer handle on it, and it's pretty, pretty nice grip to it. It's not soft like the Gerber is, uh, but it's very rugged. You can see it's, not, it's a hard finish to it, so it's not going to come apart. And it feels pretty good in your hand. On the end, there is the clip that attaches it to the, I think this goes from the M16 all the way up to the M4s and then the big hoop on the front, which goes over top of the uh, compensator on the, on the rifle. This thing is balanced pretty nicely, considering it weighs so much. Uh, and probably one of the reasons why it weighs so much is the blade. As you can see, this blade's pretty thick. It's probably, uh, I'd say about an inch and a half, an inch and a half wide, and thickness it's a quarter inch thick. It's just shy of a quarter inch thick on this blade. So it is a big blade, a big, heavy, solid blade. Mine does not have the, um, I can't remember what it's called. There's a blood groove in some of them. This does not have it, but I do have a serrated edge on the back. It's got the regular edge on the front. And then this knife with the sheath combined creates a wire cutter. So what you do is you stick the knife onto that little tab right there and you can use it as a wire cutter. And it works really well. I cut some uh, 16 penny nails with it and I've also tried to cut some um, chain link fence. So the wire cutter works great. Although I've never used this one until now. And I've actually never really used this knife at all until recently. I was going on a pig hunt down in Texas and I wanted to use a big blade. So this has a seven and a half inch blade to it. So I took it with me. And if you wanna see how it did on a pig in Texas, I'll also link that video uh, up above here so you can click on that and check out my hunt in Texas. This knife was made in the US by Land K. There are, I believe, three or four different manufacturers of the M9 bayonet. And this one that I got issued just happens to be made by Land K. I really, I, I like this knife. I've had it sitting around for a long time and never really used it until that hunting trip in Texas. But it's a good knife. I may break it out and carry it a little bit more. Um, like I said, it's heavy, but it is definitely durable. It's strong, durable. It's good for chopping and um, stabbing into things. And uh, the wire cutter on it is a great utility if you need it for something, but it's not a bad all-around knife if you're looking for um, a work tool uh, around a farm or something like that. So this knife is um, 
pretty good. I, I think there are some better options if I was going to have a day-to-day -day carry knife like this, um, like this Gerber that I keep on my backpack. But this bayonet definitely has its uses. Um, it's got a bigger blade than the Gerber does. It's thicker than the Gerber. It's it's more heavy duty, and it feels solid. It doesn't feel like I'll break it if I if I do something with it. So. That's the M9 Bayonet by Lanke. I wanted to just show you guys this and show you some of the features of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you did, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Help me grow and you can also get notified when I have some other videos coming out. So until I see you next time, I wish you all nothing but tight lines and short blood trails. Thanks for watching.